I have to say you had an experience in your career. You've had a lot of wonderful experiences, but I happen to know that you, when, when Selma was coming out, mm. you had the opportunity to screen this very beautiful and powerful movie for President and Mrs. Obama mm. at the White House. Yeah. And I'm trying to imagine um, what that must have been like to go to the White House and and screen this project for them. And and, and it, it, it sounds like it would have been a very beautiful and kind of very memorable evening. It was completely surreal, if, if I'm totally honest, because for so many reasons, A, it was doing this film, which was about voting rights, mm -hmm in a situation where we now had a black president, um, but also it was the, the centenary, it was a hundred years since the first time a film had been screened at the White House. And that film had been Birth of a Nation. Right. The very racist film that became a recruiting tool for the Ku Klux Klan. Mm -hmm. And so to be screening Selma there with a black president, um, under those circumstances was, was truly surreal. But one of the ex truly extraordinary things that, that happened that night was we, we, we screened the film, we had this dinner, and then we were, we were in the White House and myself and maybe three, three other people were invited by Barack Obama into this room where the Gettysburg Address was in a glass cabinet and he took us in to, to look at it. And I kid you not, the most incredible thing happened. He started reading it. Oh, wow. And I, I, I don't know if you've ever had a moment like this where, you know, you're, you're going about your day. It was always, you know, extraordinary to be in the White House anyway with Barack Obama. But then suddenly you go, I'm literally in one of the biggest moments of my life right now. Yeah. Take it in, take it in, take it in. And he started reading the Gettysburg Address and he read the entire thing. And it was just so mind-blowingly moving to me to, to be there to experience it. Um, and it was, it was one of those stories that, you know, that I, the, even as I say it to you, I can't believe it quite, it, it happened, but- yeah. very moving, think, yeah. Yeah, but as you know, I just did this film with, with George Clooney, uh, The Midnight Sky, and I told him this story, because George is famously a raconteur, full of stories, and I thought, okay, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wheel out one of, my, uh, one, of my, one of my big ones. And I told him this story, and he goes, oh, yeah, Barack, yeah, he did that to me. <laughs> The exact same thing. The exact same thing. Yeah, he, he read the whole thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, my, my, my world just, just sort of created. <laughs> no. Wait, it, it turns out that this is something President Obama did all the time. It's like a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like his little, his little thing he does. Yeah. So. No, so it'd be great. So like uh, someone would show up and say, uh, Mr. President, I'm just here from uh, Direct TV. I'm here to uh, fix the cable. Come on in here. Come on in. We're going to go to the Lincoln bedroom. I'm going to read you the Gettysburg Address. Okay. I'm All right. And then I'll connect the cable. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. 